This segment will show you how to install your Maxi Cosi Prezi child restraint with the base in a rear facing position using your vehicle seat belts. Before you start, it is very important that you read the instruction manual for this child restraint and the information in your vehicle owner's manual regarding child restraint systems. This video does not replace those manuals, which contain complete installation information and important warnings. In your vehicle owner's manual, be sure to find the section about car seats to help identify your vehicle's specific features and locations of devices. Note that some seating positions in your vehicle may not be safe for this child restraint, so make sure to check the owner's manual for correct information about using the system in your vehicle. You may also contact the Doral Juvenile Group Consumer Relations Department. Make sure you never place a child in a rear-facing seating position with an active frontal airbag. Also, make sure to only use the restraint on vehicle seats that face forward. Lastly, remember the safety tip that children are safer when properly restrained in a rear seat in the vehicle. You must install this child restraint in a rear-facing position. As you install the Prezi, it is a good idea to move the front seats forward, creating more room in the back. Before you begin, make sure the latch belt is stored in the front of the base. You must not use both the latch system and the vehicle belts at the same time. Then, center the base in your chosen seating position facing the rear. Then check the recline angle indicator on the base. The ball in the indicator should be fully in the color zone that matches the weight of your child. Adjust the base as needed to achieve the correct recline angle. Make sure to use the base to determine the recline angle, not the level to ground lines on the child restraint. Review your vehicle's owner's manual for what type of vehicle belts you have in your car and how to use them with child restraints. Then take the vehicle seat belt and thread it through the belt path guide. If you are using both the lap and shoulder belt, first slip the lap belt under the belt path guide and with then buckle the vehicle belt through the belt path. Pull on the shoulder belt to remove any slack and then slip the shoulder belt under the belt path guide. Always refer to your vehicle owner's manual to ensure that you are using your belt system correctly. Now you need to tighten the belt as much as possible. With your hand or knee in the base, push down firmly while pulling up on the shoulder belt to tighten the belt. If the belt has a switchable retractor, put it into the ALR mode first by pulling the shoulder belt all the way out before tightening. Pull up on the shoulder belt and feed the slack back into the retractor. If you have a shoulder belt, thread it in the shoulder belt guide which is opposite the vehicle buckle. Make sure you do not twist the belt. Now you need to check the vehicle belt and base for tightness. Grasp the base at the belt path and push and pull on the base from side to side and forward to back. Make sure the base doesn't move more than one inch in any direction. If it does move more than an inch, try reinstalling the base to make it tighter or try another seat position if necessary to achieve a tighter result. Now you can attach the child restraint to the base following the steps in segment 3. Pull up on the child restraint's two front corners to make sure it is securely locked to the base. Remember that the carry handle can be in any position. Then recheck the recline angle with the child restraint secured to the base. Make sure the ball is fully in the color zone that corresponds to the weight of your child. If the recline angle is not correct, you will need to uninstall the restraint and base and try different base recline angles and repeat the steps in this segment until you achieve the proper recline angle. When you are ready to remove the child restraint from the vehicle, pull out on the base release lever handle and lift the child restraint off of the base and out of the vehicle. To remove the base, disengage the vehicle seat belt and pull the belt out from under the belt path guide. Some seating positions in your vehicle may not be safe for this child restraint. Some vehicles do not have a seating position that can be used safely with this child restraint. If you're not sure where to place the child restraint in your vehicle, consult your vehicle owner's manual, contact your local child passenger inspection station, or contact Maxi Cosi Consumer Relations Team at 800-951-4113.